Jadav is back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead Season 9 episode reaction video. But before I continue with that, it's extremely important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in re-watching or watching The Walking Dead, that you take the initiative and pay attention to the episode title, which of course I'll put in the description for you. If that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up, I suggest, and so would everyone else, that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This is going to be The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode Number 13. The title of this episode is called Choke Point. This will be my reaction review recap of the episode. Daryl and Connie flee with Henry and Lydia from a group of whispers led by the notorious Beta with a horde of walkers. Now, Connie actually directs them to an uncompleted high rise that her group had taken shelter in before, where she shows Daryl that they could isolate the Whispers by laying an ambush on the upper floors. Unsure about Lydia's trustworthiness, Daryl actually locks her in a closet, but locks her with dogs. So he trusts her, but leaves her with dogs, which doesn't make any sense in my opinion, but it is what it is. And then uh, while they prepare for Beta's uh, group to arrive. And the plan, it actually works, as Beta and his allies are forced to abandon the walkers on the ground floor, leaving, or I should say giving, Daryl and Connie the ability to kill them easily. Daryl actually has a one-on-one -on -one fight with Beta, which props to the stunt people that did this fight. It was epic. Uh, didn't last long, but it was epic when it did. And the, the fight ends up with Daryl pushing Beta into an open elevator shaft. Now Lydia, fearing for Henry's safety, actually breaks out of the closet in time for Dog to come out and attack a Whisper who's actually about to kill Henry. Uh, though Henry, of course, still ends up getting injured uh, in the process with his leg getting stabbed with something. Uh, with the whisper subdued, the group work to lure the walkers out of the ground floor so they can escape. And then at the hilltop, they prepare for their fare. One of their scout groups, led by Jerry, is ambushed by a group of humans called the Highwaymen, who strip them of all their gear, and one of them takes Jerry's sword. When Carol learns of this, she suggests that uh, because the Highwaymen did not kill Jerry's group, they may be open to negotiation. Ezekiel, Carol, and other Kingdom members go to the Highwaymen headquarters and lure the Highwaymen into a trap so, they, so that the Kingdom group can overpower them. Ezekiel tries to convince the Highwaymen to help them keep the roads clear for the other communities traveling to the fair. But Carol convinces them that they would have the opportunity to see a movie if they could help. The Highwaymen, the leader, Ozzy, uh, reluctantly agree, returning the gear they took and later are shown helping the Hilltop community make their way to the kingdom, when I, which I thought was an epic moment where Ozzy and the Highwaymen come running to save Terra, you know, Magna, Connie, or not, not Connie, Kelly. Uh, Unico and whoever else was with them at the time when they were kind of having a tough time with some walkers. So that was good. And then when uh, when everybody arrives, Carol sees that Henry is not with the group. Terrell worries that Daryl's group hasn't arrived either and efforts to locate them are underway. And then the episode ends with uh, everyone unaware that Beta is still alive at the bottom of the ever elevator shaft. How is he going to get out? I have no idea, but that's how the episode ends. So, pretty entertaining fight uh, between Daryl and uh, Beta. Pretty t entertaining episode. We didn't learn a lot about the Highwaymen. They were just kind of thrown in there, which I'll get to that more in a later reaction video. But all in all, I enjoyed the episode. I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. I liked most of what I saw. The character of the episode, it could have went a couple different directions with this. Uh, I'm going to give it to Daryl because his epic fight with uh, Beta and him and Connie and Henry and Lydia teaming up. Um, Daryl did a good job in this episode, as did Dog. Dog always does. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now it's your turn. So, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead and you like this episode, Choke Point from Season 9, go ahead and smash that like button. Or if you're just a fan of The Walking Dead in general, go ahead and smash that like button. If you know anyone that would be interested in listening or watching this, go ahead and share the video with them. Don't forget to leave me a comment with anything you want to talk about Walking Dead related. It could be past, could be future, could be current.
Whatever you want to talk about, we can certainly talk about that. And of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.